Hello, hi. This is uh, Dr. Mc John McAllister, and this is a video about a patient who had the laser gum treatment. Uh, if you look at what we're doing right now is we're placing a periodontal probe, which is actually a ruler that measures the distance or the space between the gum and the tooth. Healthy numbers are one, two, and three millimeters. If you look at that instrument, it has different colors. Up to the first color, it's three millimeters, then it goes to six millimeters, then to nine. And what we're looking at right here is the after of, this is the before. So you can see it just hits around six millimeters there, and then about three, and it, you could hear me calling out the numbers of this patient. Uh, in the after video, I, I don't call out the numbers, um, but you get a sense of what this patient has. If you look at the amount of bleeding and the, the depth of these measurements, um, this patient had advanced periodontal disease. We did a procedure that's called LANAP, and LANAP is laser-assisted new attachment procedure. The new part is not that it's a new procedure. It's been in uh, the literature over 20 years and in a specialty, I think it, it's less than 50 years old, uh, recognized by the American Dental Association sometime, I think, in the 50s. So it's not a new procedure. Uh, but what we're talking about with new is that we're getting new attachment. What that means is the gum is regenerating. We're getting new cementum, which is new tooth structure on the root surface. And we're getting new connective tissue attachment. That's the way the gum is basically sewn onto the tooth. It is this attachment that holds the gum on the tooth. Here you can see the after images. Uh, this was taken with a global surgical G6 microscope through a Sony uh, Next 5 camera. And what you're seeing is the after uh, result. Uh, the instrument is going in two, three millimeters, and we no longer call this a pocket. This is now a sulci, and very healthy uh, after result. Uh, again, different teeth, we're placing that instrument down. The advantage of doing the LANAP procedure as opposed to traditional regenerative procedures like guided tissue regeneration, also known as GTR, is that no foreign products were placed into the pocket. What that means is nothing else was added in there other than laser energy and cleaning the root. Uh, you can look on here on YouTube and uh, do a search for LANAP or even on my own um, page and I have many videos of showing the procedure, how it's done and how minimally invasive it is. The nice thing about this procedure is that uh, no scalpels are used. Since no scalpers are used, then you don't have to suture or, or sew the gum back on, uh, back together. Um, other advantages are uh, to the patient, it's uh, mild discomfort. Uh, I've done over a thousand of these cases and I've never had to Seven, play, uh, give a patient four, anything stronger than Motrin. We don't have to give them strong narcotics to handle their six, pain. Most patients six, say they took uh, some Motrin five, the first day and they never had to take anything after. So that is an advantage for the patient. But the true advantage is the regenerative properties of utilizing a laser. Not just the, 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 the antibacterial, but actually seeing at a histological level, there have been two papers published that show uh, at a cellular level that we're getting regeneration and the advantage to the patient is minimally uh, invasive, minimal discomfort. If you look down at the description, I have some more information about this case. 
Uh, you could also find us online at lasergundentist.com. You can see the, the patient did have quite a bit of tartar and uh, infection. And the periodontal probe is showing that yes, the, the patient had quite a bit of infection preoperatively. So you can see we're going seven plus millimeters. In a very unhealthy site. Your gums should never bleed when we use this instrument. Uh, this, the dentist, whenever you go see a dentist, you want to make sure that they take these measurements every year. If they don't, maybe it's time to find a new dentist because gum disease is the number one cause of tooth loss. So if gum disease is the number one cause of tooth loss, and unless you're in pain, why are you going to your dentist? You're going to your dentist to help you keep your teeth. And if you want to keep them, you want to make sure that your gums are healthy. Your gums should not bleed when you brush or you floss. Look at, this is an interesting moment here in this uh, uh, video. If you look on the other side, that is the after. That's one week after. If you look at it, it looks like a scab. What I mean by that is if you've ever cut yourself and you go in the jacuzzi for about an hour, that's what your scab looks like. Well, the mouth is a wet environment and you'll, you'll see that after one of these procedures, especially on some of these very advanced cases. Earlier cases don't look that, that white, you could say, but on these advanced cases, they definitely look they don't look very nice at the one week, which is what this would be, because we did this patient half of his mouth one week and then the other half the next week. So you get to see what it looks like one week after the surgery. But even though it doesn't look nice, fortunately, the patient doesn't feel much discomfort. Go on my channel, you could find several different videos of patients, their experience. Again, I've never had this done. So I don't know what it feels like, uh, but they've had it done. And so what I've done is I've recorded them telling us how it feels after having this procedure done. And most patients say on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most pain they've ever had, it's about a two, maybe a three. I've had a few fours, but I've also had a few zeros. So it's, it's subjective, pain is subjective, but uh, here you're seeing the after result of, of, of the gum treatment. Um, the important part about cases like this is that they need to follow up with long-term home, with home care, but also long-term visits with the hygienist. Uh, really for the best results on this procedure, uh, regular maintenance is critical. Uh, having a good hygienist, spending enough time to make sure that you're doing what's necessary to keep it healthy. Because remember, you got, if the patient has this, it never completely goes away. It's kind of like diabetes, especially if it's, if it's a, a, a more advanced case. Uh, you, you have to handle it with, with a lot of uh, TLC and be on top of it. Make sure it doesn't start to come back. And if it does, handle it at an earlier stage. There are other uh, treatments uh, like deep cleanings that we could do prior to having to do the, the laser procedure. Um, again, these are the after videos of, of what the results ended up being like. It is very nice to be able to be offering this type of procedure, again, minimally invasive, minimal discomfort that gets regeneration on the number one cause of tooth loss. Uh, not just that part, but also the health benefits of getting rid of an infection that's eating you alive. So I look forward to uh, meeting you and, and 